High Revolution golfers Andrew Rice out here at the Western Savannah Harbor. Thanks so much for tuning in today. Today I'm going to share some information with you that's really going to help you work towards improving the length of your golf swing. But not only that, you're going to be able to get some feedback as to what's happening out on the golf course. Not only are we going to work on it on the range, you're also going to get a sense of what's happening out on the golf course. And so, First thing, I've got a club hub attached to the end. I've just got my seven iron out here. I've got a club hub attached to the end of my seven iron and it's connected to my phone, which is down here. And, and what I'm going to do is as I make some swings, the club hub is going to give me information, give me some feedback as to how far this club head travels in the backswing. If I get the club head below the butt end of the club, that's going to give me a minus reading. If I get it above, it's going to get a bigger positive reading. So let's take a look. I'm just going to hit a shot. We'll see what I get, what type of feedback here. Here we go. Just my regular swing. Oh, that felt nice. So let's take a look. Plus 26.7 degrees above. 26.7 degrees. So as you could clearly see from the live view there, that was 26.7 degrees above parallel to the ground. So I am typically always working to get a little bit longer. And I'm going to give you tips for two ways. If you're looking to shorten your golf swing or lengthen your golf swing, this is where I'd like you to go with it. So if, I, if you would like to get longer, and I certainly would, starting to get a little old and creaky here but i'm always looking to get longer and a great avenue to increase the length of the backswing is try to find it in your lower body feel free to elevate that lead heel up off the ground let those hips pivot and all of a sudden you'll be able to get longer so let me give that a go i'm really going to try to feel like i free up the lower body here let's see what i can get to something closer to zero Pretty nice. 16.4, so better. I picked up 10 degrees. What happens if I'm too long? Let's take a look. Here's, I'm gonna purposefully make a backswing that really travels too far. I'm gonna even see if I can get it to go beyond parallel to the ground. Let's try that. Nice, free, loose one here. Here's a long one. That went to the left. Maybe that's why I don't swing that way. So that was minus 4.9 degrees. Clearly I went a little beyond parallel there. So if you struggle with too long, and I see this a lot with you, with those of you who come and see me here for three day golf schools, I see these long backswings. And most often it's two factors. In the backswing, the shoulders are pivoting too flat too much around, too level. And so I'd love to see if we could get a little bit of incline, almost feeling like the lead shoulder goes down, the trail shoulder goes up. That creates that little bit of torque, that little bit of tension to stop that club from traveling so far. And number two, I'd love for you to feel like as you get up to the top, we're gonna keep that flat lead wrist as we get up to the top. So. A good little feel is to shorten the swing. Lead shoulder is going to go down. Trail shoulder is going to work up. That's going to create some tension there. This will definitely be shorter and tighter. Here we go. Nice strike. A little lower certainly than the long one. Let's see what that was. That was perhaps... Plus 34.6 degrees above. Plus 34.6. So... There you have it. And here's the beauty of it. If you go out, you put the club up on the end of all your clubs, you go out and play, you can certainly get an idea as to what you're working to on the range. But out on the golf course, you're going to be able to backtrack once you're finished playing the round and see what the lengths of your backswings were. So if you know you had this pressure packed tee shot on the 14th hole, you were a little anxious, you didn't hit a good shot, you can come back and see that hey, I was really, really short on that backswing. I got quick. And so you can start to get the feedback and have a little bit better understanding as to, yes, this is what I'm doing on the range, 
but this is how I'm struggling on the golf course and what's changing between here and there. Really a great little feedback tool, I like it. Awesome to practice with and certainly you're gonna get the feedback that very little end of club attachments are gonna give you when you're playing golf. Something I like, give it a go, work on getting that backswing into a neutral zone. I don't like anything too long or overly short. Revolution Golfers, if you'd like to take advantage of this special offer just for you from our friends at Club Hub, click the banner to get yourself a set of Club Hubs. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, leave them below. I'll respond to as many as I can.